Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys some tips for how to free up your hard drive space on Windows. We'll be taking you through on my personal computer as I try to remove some unnecessary space. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm here on Windows 11 Pro, and let's go ahead and check out my drive really quick. So I'll do Windows key and E together. This is a shortcut to bring up our file explorer. Now, if I go to this PC, I can see on my local disk, I have 310 gigabytes free of just under two terabytes. Now, while this drive still has a decent amount of space left, I don't really want it to be this full. So I'm gonna try a few methods to go ahead and clean it up. Now, a lot of this can be done directly from the settings, the system settings. So I'll do Windows key and I together, click into system, and then we'll click storage. So the first thing to take note of in Windows 11 specifically is that all of our storage is separated into categories. Now this is nice because it allows us to see exactly where the storage is being consumed. So in our case, it's mostly from installed apps, and then a lot is on the desktop as well. Now, before I start digging into these files, let's go down to the storage management and see what kind of options we have here. So the first setting we'll see is storage sense. This is gonna automatically free up our space, delete temporary files, and manage locally available cloud content. If this is off, you might consider turning it on. And as we can see, we have some additional uh, scheduling settings here. So it automatically deletes my recycling bin after 30 days, and then it deletes files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than however much we want to put here. I'm actually going to set this to never, and this is just specific to me based on how I use my downloads. But if you're not working with critical data, I would say it's fine to just put this to you know 30 or 60 days or whatever works for you. And then run storage sense during low free disk space is the default. Okay, I might actually set this to every month because low uh, low free disk space is not going to happen very often for me. So I'm going to I'm going to change that to every month. Okay. Now we're going to go back into storage. Next we'll click cleanup recommendations. So right off the bat, we can see that we have 11 gigs in our recycle bin. That can go previous Windows installation files, those could be removed as well. I'm going to keep mine because I use them for tutorials on the channel and I use them with Hyper-V. Um, temporary installation files, I'm fine to remove that as well. Now when it comes to downloads, this is actually just to clear your downloads folder. I'm not going to do that in this case, but again, if, if that works for you or you're able to do that, you could do that. So I'll go ahead and hit clean up and I'll press continue. All right, I'm going to let the computer work on that for a bit as it seems like it's going to take a little while. Okay, so while the computer is doing that, let's go into our larger unused files. Now we have a few here. Um, I'm not too worried about these because they're all under you know, 50 megabytes. So I'm gonna leave those. I have an ISO image file here. Again, not too worried about any of these files. So I'll leave those alone for now. Definitely take a look through here and see what's larger unused. Okay, I'm gonna go back into storage and we've checked out our cleanup recommendations. Last up, we're gonna check our advanced storage settings. So here we can see storage used on other drives where new content is saved. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a couple of different options here none of which I'm particularly um, interested in right now because I think the large majority of my stuff are large video files. And so I'm going to figure out how to um, actually find those and figure out you know, what I can delete and what I can save. Okay, next up, we can do this feature called disk cleanup. And this is something that we can take advantage of to help remove some old cache files and such. So search disk cleanup from the start menu and press enter. Now the C drive is probably your main drive. That one here is my external. So I want to select the C drive and I'll press OK. I'm gonna uncheck the downloaded program files. Temporary internet files can go. Uh, the Windows errors and reports can go. The recycle bin can go. We have a couple of other things here like the optimization files and the shader cache. Um, and then we have 20, a little under 20 gigabytes of temporary files. Now this is something that Windows tends to do habitually. It will kind of store these cache files and different things that aren't really needed. And so I'm going to select that as well and we'll hit clean up system files. All right, it says now it's cleaning up unnecessary files on your machine. So we're going to let that load as well. All right, so we've pretty much taken care of the hidden space hoggers, anything that kind of might be in the backlog that you're not really concerned about. And now I'm just going to go through some of the files manually and see, you know, maybe there's something we can remove that we might not need. So 
We'll go back into system and we'll go back into storage. And I'm going to start by checking through the installed apps. Let's see what's taking up a lot of space here. I'm going to filter this by the local C disk, and I'm going to also filter by size large to small. All right, so the recommendation here would be to go through and find if, if there are any unused apps that you don't need. I use all the apps here, so I'm not going to actually change anything in this folder, but it is worth looking. So I'll just go back into system and back into storage. And let's go ahead and check out the desktop. All right, this is my kind of large desktop folder here. It's called work and it's 466 gigabytes. Pretty large folder, okay? So let me go ahead and open this up and let's figure out which folder is the largest. So I'll right click on the clients folder, that's 408 gigabytes. Uh, let's see how big this media folder is, 33. Okay, so let's check out this clients folder. Let's see if anything can get removed from here. Now, again, I'm just clicking, right clicking on the folders and properties to view their size. And maybe if I'm done with some of these projects, I can actually just get rid of them and throw them into the recycle bin and empty them. So this is a project that's been closed. I don't need this. And so I'm going to double check. <clears throat> it's always wise to double check your folders to make sure you're not re accidentally removing critical data. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll move this into our recycle bin. Now, is there anything else in here that I don't need? probably don't need this one. I definitely don't need this one. And I'm also being careful about this because anything that I don't necessarily need is also stored in the drive, meaning I have a backup of it. I'm good with that one. I'm good with this folder as well. I'm going to drag this to the recycle bin. Okay, I don't need this one. I don't need this folder. Everything else I'm actually going to go ahead and keep right now for redundancy's sake. I'll X out of this. I'll empty the recycle bin manually. We'll click yes. And then let me go back into storage and let's just see what kind of progress we've made today. All right, so as we can see, we started with around 300 gigabytes free and we're now to 433 gigabytes free. And I'll continue to kind of manage this as I see fit. But yeah, we've taken care of kind of some of that backend stuff and then we've manually gone through any files that we can actually remove. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would go a long way as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you all in the next one.